Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com and in this video we'll be working with our PDF stamp or extension for our Life Forms module. So let's get started. The PDF Stamper extension allows us to use the data collected in Life Forms and stamp or write it into an existing PDF template. It's a great way to reduce paperwork and digitize everything. For example, you can hand off a tablet to an end user uh, to fill out an app sample job application form and instead of them filling out a paper version they can fill it out on a, uh, a tablet and then we will automatically create take their data and stamp it or write it into this PDF and ultimately give you a, a PDF that has the end user's data already stamped in it. So we'll use this PDF as an example it has four different pages and we'll simply go ahead and try to create a a form that mimics this PDF in life forms and then the end result is when someone submits the form will have a PDF document with their data pre-written. So let's get started. I have an instance of life forms here and I'm gonna just go ahead and click manage. The first step is to set up that form. To save us time in this demo I have already set up a form and I have the sharing code available so I'm gonna simply go here and copy the form and paste it in. So as you can see, I have the name and address header heading with some basic information and the job type heading with some information, which I basically mimicked from here. There's the name and address and job type. Now, obviously I did not went ahead and created the complete form just to save time uh, for sake of this demo. So this is all I have. And uh, for purpose of demo, I will be just stamping couple fields in here uh, to, to demonstrate the full cycle. So let's get started again. I'm gonna go to options, go to actions. I'm gonna say when someone submits this form, we wanna create a document. And we wanna do that by stamping an existing PDF. So I'm gonna give this action a name of application, that this is the application, the PDF application. And now we have to find the PDF template. So this is the file that I was showing you right here. So I'm gonna say it's a file on my site. And since the file does not exist on my site, I'm going to say upload new file and I'll browse for it. And in my case, it's called job application. I'll upload it. So there it is. Now I know which PDF template to use. So this, this file in itself will never get modified. It's simply used as a template. We make a copy of it and then we paste or you can say stamp or write the data from live forms in it and then create a new PDF. So to get started now we can say we want to add a stamp. So we have to specify which page number, where do we want to stamp, what data, what font size, what color. So this is self-explanatory. We'll do page number one and then I want to say um, uh, an X and Y coordinate uh, that we want to use. So this is where it's a little bit tricky and takes a little bit of understanding. In Acrobat or PDF document, the document's X, Y coordinates actually start from the lower left corner instead of upper left corner in most cases. Also, uh, we are asking for the coordinates in points. So one, one inch is roughly 72 points for guidance. Now, if you have uh, a full version of Acrobat, it's extremely easy to figure this coordinates by simply going to the measuring tool. Now, since I am uh, using a free Acrobat reader, I don't have that tool and it's very hard for me to figure out um, the X and Y coordinates. So for purpose of this demo, I am going to use a open source image editor program to pick those coordinates. By no means you have to use that program. You can use another image editing. You can use a full version of Acrobat. You can even print your PDF and simply use a ruler to figure out these x y coordinates by substituting 72 points for each inch. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch over and I'm going to use a program called GIMP, which is a GNU image manipulation program. So I've already downloaded and installed that. Like I said, this is not required, but this is an easy tool for me to figure out the XY coordinates. I already have that program running here. So I'm going to simply go ahead and say uh, open and I'm going to open my job application. And there's that PDF. And 
on the bottom left here you will see I'm gonna freeze the screen so you can take a look really quick on the bottom left here you can see the corners appearing as I hover over the document so what I want to do first is change this to points instead of pixels so I'm gonna change this to points and now as you can see wherever I hover over I see uh, the points so what I'm gonna do uh, next is because Acrobat takes the coordinates from lower left corner instead of upper left I'm gonna go ahead and flip this vertically now it makes it a little bit harder to read and understand what's going on but this is the easiest way if you don't have the full Acrobat version so let's say I want to put the full name right here that's where it needs to go right there so for me that's 33623 that I'm looking at uh, 33623 37, 6, 2, 3, something like that right there. So I'm going to just take that number, 33, 6, 2, 4. So I'm going to go back here to my form and I say, at 33, 6, 2, 4, I need a full name in black color. I'm going to add a nurse tab and go back here, sorry, this program. And I'm going to say at... three hundred and eighteen six two four I'll take the social security number so that's page one three eighteen six two four the SSN in black as well and we'll do one more here really quick let's see uh, let's do let's do the email so the email is right here which is three two one four seven two so three two one four seven two and I think that's that's sufficient for an example here so we're doing email and of course you'll do one for each data you want to stamp so I have these set up and that's good enough for a demo so the next thing I want to point out really quick is whatever the action name we used application in my case happens to become uh, the token names if we want to offer the PDF just that's being generated as a download link or if you want to attach it to an email so let's go ahead and save this one and next what I'm gonna do is uh, show a message and I'm gonna simply say when someone submits this that your application has, has been submitted you may download a copy and I'm just gonna say here's a download link and I'm gonna make this a link and like I said we have that token we can use call application link I'm gonna say open this in a new window so there we go this will allow someone to download a copy of their application they just submitted similarly I can set up an email action and I can say uh, that we can send this either to the user who's submitting that we've received your application or to the HR department so uh, if you're doing it to a HR department you can simply have you know HR at your and we can say uh, new application and from could be a generic uh, email address from your company and of course if you're sending this to the user you can use a token from here called the email token in here and you can simply say here that uh, a new application is uh, uh, is attached to this email and we can simply attach that application here by saying that we want to we have an attachment uh, it's a static expression instead of a, a a file on our side and we can simply say it's application path and hit add attachment there we go that's set up all right everything is now set up and it's time for us to test it out all right so I'm gonna fill this out really quick we have
some test data that just I'm typing in to complete this really quick. And, and there's some more test data. So when I submit this, two things should happen. First, we should see a message with the link to download that PDF. Oops. Okay. And second, we should get an email as well. So there we go. Your application has been submitted. You may download a copy. I'm going to go ahead and click it, take a look at it. There's the PDF that was just generated. And there's the first name that was stamped. There's the social security number. And there's the email address that was stamped. Now, as you can see, uh, the data is kind of overlapping. So I have to make adjustments to my uh, Y coordinate. Perhaps I was not paying attention. It needs to be moved down a little bit. And then you, you can have it configured so it looks perfect. But there we go. There we, there's a PDF that was generated with the data. And similarly, if I go and take a look at my inbox email I see there's the new application email that came through I can see a new application is attached to this email and in attachment I do see that there's the PDF and if I look at it I see the data as well so that's it for this short video um, as always if you have any questions or concerns feel free to open a support ticket and we'll be happy to assist you thank you so much for watching the video